Hey there. Welcome to Window Cleaning 101 Basics. I'll start off with uh, actually filling up the bucket. Uh, I mean, a lot of people do think it's just window cleaning. You get that a bit. Um, but uh, there is a lot more to it than meets the eye. So when you get it right, the idea is to actually be able to do a really good job uh, uh, so that 99.9% .9 of customers are happy. It's not hard when you know. So I'm going to take you through the basic steps to cleaning a window. And once you do that, you can impress a lot of people. Okay, so starting off with filling up a bucket. Who would have thought that that was a technical subject? But uh, I've discovered through 10 years of window cleaning that if you can get the little things right, everything is easy. And that's life, uh, in essence. Okay, so in terms of filling up a, bu a bucket, I've got this green bucket filled with window cleaning gear with dishwashing liquid. My preference is the earth, no, they didn't pay me to say this, but the earth labeled dishwashing liquid, um, which is eco friendly. I do prefer that. I like to look after nature and, and you know, rada yada yada. Uh, Morning Fresh, great brand too. Again, they didn't pay me to say that. But this is really, really good, very strong. The, the purpose of having dishwashing liquid, uh, it acts as a, it's a surfactant. So it pulls apart, uh, it helps things dissolve easier in water, particularly fat. Uh, you can have fat in your windows. Uh, but usually you just want to remove the dirt, and this helps beautifully with that. So I, I do actually put a lot in there. I don't actually know... <laughs> um, uh, mathematically how much I put in but I just I do know through just practice how much I should actually put into the bucket so I don't count but it's probably about five four or five seconds of a full squeeze okay so here we go Yep, squeeze it in it's a full squeeze I'm, I'm pressing pretty much as hard as I can Probably about five seconds. We want a lot in there. Then we fill it up. I'll just turn this over. Here we've got the applicator and squeegee, which I'll explain to you uh, uh, what they are and the condition they need to be in and blah de blah de blah. So we'll fill up the bucket. I'll just pause it while I fill up the bucket and then show you how much water needs to be in the bucket. Be right back. Okay, filling up the bucket. So you, you don't want you don't want to blast the water into the bucket because it will create too much uh, too many bubbles and bubbles is annoying. Uh, first of all, you want to make sure that um, you fill up the bucket to a point that's about an inch before the top. Again, don't ask me why; it just works. Um, uh, also, with uh, too many bubbles, if you bring the bucket inside, bubbles will go all, all over the place. Uh, when you pull out your, your window cleaning equipment from the bucket and, and the customer doesn't really, obviously it's not good, doesn't look good, and the customer doesn't like that, creates a mess, blah de blah, blah Also, when there's too many bubbles, too many bubbles actually get uh, caught in between the rubber and the channel here of the squeegee. Again, I'll explain uh, a bit more about the squeegee later. And it actually, it's harder to do a good job. Basically, those bubbles will squeeze out onto the glass as you're trying to squeegee off the water and actually, um, actually marks the windows with yeah with water and soap, um, which isn't ideal. So it makes it harder. So anyway, filling out the bucket, fill it up to about an inch before the top. Uh, plenty of water. You want lots of water so that um, your water doesn't become too dirty too quickly. Then it's less it's it's uh, less able to dissolve water. Sorry, dirt into the water. So that, that, I'm sure that makes sense. Um, anyway, I'll uh, finish filling up this bucket and then uh, we can go outside and I can show you the basics of cleaning a window. Stay tuned.